All right, guys, so welcome back. So I had to make a new stand for this guy here because the last one that I made, this part wasn't a nice press fit. It wasn't sitting in there right. And at high speed, it would wobble really bad. And also, it didn't fit in this part really well. It was too short. So now it's in there really good. And now I can put my rotor back on. Oh, I have to seat it down. But yeah, you get the idea. And I've got another rotor I want to try on here. Um, I also got one of Sky's coils. He was good enough to... <clears throat> sell me one of his coils and a new circuit, a circuit that only requires one to three volts to work. But this is really cool. You put LEDs in here. I think one of the rings of the pancake coil is attached to these out here. This is the input for the coil. And I made this stand, which is in like three different parts. This is the end cap that holds it together. And then this comes apart like this, and that piece goes in there and kind of holds it all together like this. It's kind of cool, maybe overkill. But then that holds it together like that. And then I can put this stand here. Well, I would put it up on something and just see how that works. Anyway, I'll show you guys that later on in the video. What I want to do is I want to get this guy up and running to see if the changes that I made to this are any good. I have to, ah, there we go. Yeah, that's much better than it was. It's even straighter. Yeah, VCR bearings are the best. They go forever. Anyway, let me get this guy up and running. And get this guy situated. I didn't make the holes for this tight enough. I didn't make it a press fit. So I have to figure out a way to keep these in there. Maybe I, what I'll do is I'll drill a little hole in the side here. And put a, um, <clears throat> I don't know, an, uh, a hex nut in there or something. Or I'll just make a cap that goes over the outside is I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I should probably just reprint this and make it so that it's a press fit like this, these guys here. These are press fit. They're never going to come out. And because all of the pressure is pushing out against this wall, they're not going to come flying out like this. Not at the speeds I'm going at. I'm only going at like... Here, let's fire it up. Right now I have it set for 7.5 volts. And it's producing on this coil 130 volts DC. Here's the, uh, oops, here's the, what you call it, 128 volts DC. Because this is, this is the pickup side of the coil, and this is the run side. This is a bifiler coil. It's going out to this um, bridge rectifier. I want to try this other one, too. That's pretty good for 7 volts, 124 out. Um, I could check the current with this, but I know that's not the proper way to do it. It's saying two amps, but I don't know if I believe that. And it's funny, when I set it up to measure the amperage, this thing dies on. Now, I have an amp meter somewhere, a clamp kind. I can't find it. I don't know where the hell I did with it. But I also ordered a couple of external um, amp meters like this guy here. This guy doesn't work. I don't know what happened to it, but I've got a couple of new ones. 
a milliamp and a regular amp meter. So let me get those hooked up and I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so just playing around here, I've got one of Sky's coils. It's the first coil he ever made for me and why I started winding coils the way I do now. I've got that. So this is the run coil. This is also the pickup coil. And if I go like that, you get a big ass light coming off of this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, bridge rectifier. But anyway, going from here, I've got this coil going to another bridge rectifier, going to the meter, which is, says it's putting out eight volts. And I have, I think, about nine volts going in to this guy here. Getting a lot of back EMF though, because the um, red neon bulb is firing off big time. I want to set up my new coil, which I just got from Sky in this setup, but I want to set it up with my, uh, where is it? With my PCB way rotor, which I've set it up so that it can run on this um, VCR bearing because this is a low voltage circuit. Where's the circuit at? Here's the circuit right here one to three volts, and it actually runs off of a where is it? A solar panel. So I want to get that set up. Anyway, stay tuned. All right, so here's the low voltage um, circuit with the coil here. I have it running on 2.9 volts, but I could turn it down to like 1.7 volts and it will still run. I turn it up just a little bit, 2.6, and it runs really well. And you can see it lights up one of the uh, layers of the pancake coil is outputted to these, what is it, eight or six um, LEDs or the six terminals with the LEDs. But it runs on a solar panel, so I want to figure out how I can get the solar panel out how I can mount it outside and get in here. I don't know if there's enough room. I might be able to get it through the window over here. That's pretty cool, though. All right, stay tuned while I try to hook up the uh, solar panel. All right, so I changed the system up. I'm still using this coil as a pickup coil. Um, I was going to try to do my PCB way coil with this adapter for this VCR bearing, but it turns out it's too wobbly for some reason, but that happens. I mean, I got lucky with this one here. There's hardly any wobble at all, but this time I'm using this regular coil, if you will, regular Bedini style coil. Actually, it's not. It's just a regular coil as the run with this four prong rotor, which has a farther apart, which has farther apart distance than this guy. So I get more of a flywheel effect. I'm still running the output into this bridge rectifier over to my meter. So let me start it up. I'm running it on about eight volts. And it ends up putting out about four volts just from this pickup coil. So my question to you guys is, if I were to jump this, this other, this run side of the coil, if I were to bridge those two and then run, you know, run it in series, in other words, would that give me more power out? I'm going to try it, but 
I think I tried it once before. I think the way he wound this coil, it's not meant to do that. But yeah, four and a half volts out just from the pickup side of this coil. Still running off of this single JL94 circuit. Let's crank it up. Now it's running on 12 and a half volts. You can hear it speeding up. Putting out about half of what's being put in. And again, this is just the pickup side. I have to be careful though, because this neon is, this neon is there to protect the run side of the circuit. It's a nice coil. I've always loved that coil. Little zen moment there. All right, let me try some different circuits, but I think I'm going to try jumping this guy first to see what will happen. Stay tuned. All right, so I jumped it. And I am. I'm getting almost twice as much voltage out. So it does work. I didn't think it would work because I thought I tried it once before. But yeah, getting 11 volts out of this whole coil. This is a really good coil. This guy doesn't... Oh, now I'm getting 14 volts out of it. Hmm, 12 in, 14 out. That does not mean over unity. I think it's because I just put it closer to it. Now I'm getting 15 volts out. Hmm. Cool. Stay tuned. All right, guys, you can see I've got a much beefier rotor in there. These are two inch by half inch. Uh, now two inch by one inch by half inch blocks. N52s and they're monsters. So let me get this guy going over here. And I have the pickup coil jumped again. I can't believe how good this pickup coil is. 8 volts. Putting out 15, 16 volts. 17 volts. Damn. Yeah, it's going to put out much more because it's such a beefier rotor. Running it off of a single... JL94 circuit, it's going to get up to 18 volts output. I got 8.4 coming in. Again, I'm running the pickup through the bridge rectifier. Uh, almost 18 volts. I bet you if I pull this just a tad closer. Yep, 18. Oh, almost 19 volts. Damn. And that's going at slow speed. <clears throat> Let me see if I bring it even a little closer. Yeah, 19 volts. It's going to get up to 20. Anyway... What I should do is run this output, instead of running it into a meter, I should run it into my, <coughs> excuse me, my <coughs> bridge rectifier. Excuse me, my throat is all. But yeah, just running off of this fine wire coil. And 19 out, 8 in, doesn't really mean anything, I'm just giving you the, the specs. Going into the bridge rectifier. <coughs> and running into the meter. Oh, why does, my throat does this every time I'm recording. 
drives me nuts. But yeah, that's a nice rotor. I'm going to put that on my bigger stand. <clears throat> and this is a good setup because this is a carbon fiber rod. And in the base, it's riding on a ball bearing. So there's almost no contact. So it's almost frictionless. Obviously, there's friction in the bearing up here. And friction on the ball bearing itself, but... 19.7 so that'll probably be it for this week i wanted to show you guys a bunch of different stuff i had different new rotors discovery of this pickup coil by jumping it i didn't realize it would produce so much the new bridge rectifier and of course the new stuff i got from sky all right guys ciao